Hi everyone, Julie Henderson here, and I just wanted to do a PicMonkey tutorial today to show how to um, edit different photos using the blur and the wrinkle remover and the shine reducer and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a picture from my computer. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a Beachbody coach, and so this photo is from three years ago at our um, annual coach summit. And this is a picture with Leandro out by the pool. And so I'm going to take this picture of myself and turn it into something to use for a profile picture. So I'm going to make it square. And I could edit it right from here, but I want to be able to show you guys the before and after. So I'm going to um, save this to my computer real quick. Okay, and then now I'm going to edit it. So, um, as you can see, it was really, really hot. I'm a little shiny. So, what I'm going to do is go over to this little touch-up tool, this little lipstick brush. And they have a shine reducer, but I don't love it. Um, the shine reducer kind of like, it kind of looks like it's painted on, and it makes you look a little, like, muddy. So, I don't use that. What I do is the wrinkle remover. And I make the brush size a little bit bigger and I fade it a little bit more. So what happens is if you if you keep the fade low, it's going to be pretty blurred. But if you put the fade pretty high, oops, let me make my brush bigger. It's not going to be as noticeable. So it's not going to make it look like your face is painted on or photoshopped or anything like that. So you can even use it like under your eyes a little bit just to smooth things out. Do it a little bit on my chin. I'm going to do just a little bit more where I'm kind of blurry up or shiny up here. So you, as you can see, it didn't do a ton, but it did just enough. Um, there is a teeth whitening option. Whoops. There's a teeth whitening option. I don't usually use it because my teeth are pretty white, and so it doesn't really do anything on my teeth. Um, but that is definitely there for you. But the eye bright, I really like. So this eye bright one right here. Oh, sorry, no, I don't use the eye bright. I use. Is it the eye bright? Okay, yes, it is the eye bright. Sorry. So what I do is the I use the eye bright, and it helps to get rid of red eye also. So you just put it right where your pupil is, and then just click. So you can kind of see it just made it a little bit darker. And so it just kind of opened my eyes up a little bit. And then for the background, this is my little trick. I use the wrinkle remover for backgrounds. Um, I've done a, I did a photo shoot once at a, a fitness facility. And in the background, you could see like the plugs on the walls and things like that. So I actually used the wrinkle remover to smooth out the background. And so from then, I've, I've really, really liked it for background. So I kind of make the brush size bigger. And it's still, you can still see the background, but it's not going to be as noticeable. So you're not going to be able to see, like, the people working out or anything like that. So you can go over it once. You can even go over it again, and it will, you know, smooth things out even a little bit more. So that way the picture isn't quite as busy looking. And then another option you have too is going to this little magic wand for the effects and going all the way to the bottom. You can click on draw. And this little dropper here will pick up any color. So if you wanted like this orange, then you could you know click on the orange and then it's going to draw that orange everywhere. So I'm going to click on the dropper. I mean, this is all pretty basic black. So I, I mean, I could have picked a black. So the hardness is the um, outside edge of this drawing tool. And so if it's 100% hardness, it's going to be a pretty straight line. So what I like to do is, is lower it so it's blurred out a little bit. And so that way I'm just going to go right through and kind of get rid of all of this background. And then I can even blur it more and then make the brush size a little bit smaller just so I can get a little bit closer here.
and then now my background's blurred out. And then if you accidentally like go in where you don't want to, all you have to do is click this little eraser and then it erases it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And now I am gonna save this to my computer so that way I can show you what they look like side by side. So to go side by side, I'm just gonna do I'll go into a custom one just to get a more rectangular size. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go into the overlay, add your own. Edit three is the one that we just did. Edit one is the original, but just cropped. And I'm just gonna put this right on top just so I can get them the same size. So there is my before and after. So it's nothing drastic, but it gives you just enough and it cleans it up really nice for a profile picture so it's not as busy in the background and you don't see you know, a workout video playing in the background and you know somebody's ear and somebody's hair. Um, so yeah, it's really, really super simple and it's a great way to you know, brighten up your pictures and great for profile pictures. So I hope that helped and whatever else you guys wanna see on PicMonkey, there are so many different things to do with PicMonkey and so many different ways to play around with it. So if there's anything that you guys want to see, comment below, let me know, and I will definitely make a video on it. I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope this helped. Bye.